Hi everyone, it's Kate. I'm sorry that my presentation is late. I've been so behind on everything. Um, so my question I'm focusing on this week is, should the emphasis of the school system change to be more pragmatic? And I saw a really interesting quote on my Facebook feed the other day. It said, my parents really drilled stop, drop, and roll into my brain as a kid, but I've never been in a fire. I am burning deep in amounts of debt. And I thought that was a really poignant kind of illustration of the fact that our school system is not preparing our students for real world experiences. And I was interested by the cardinal principles that we read about this week. They were issued exactly 100 years ago. They said that the purpose of education was to help kids be contributing family, family members now, help prepare them for vocation, help prepare them for future family roles, and help prepare them to contribute to government. And I don't know what's happened in the last 100 years, but I don't think our school system does any of those things. Um, I think we teach kids how to work well with others. Um, maybe we teach them how to think things through. But at the end of the day, we're, there are huge gaps in the education system that kids are not learning how to be prepared for a vocation or how to contribute to government and things like that. And a lot of you on my post said that uh, how are we didn't we never learned how to be good citizens. So I think it's a big hole in the education system. Another thing that interests me was um, in those cardinal principles, they said that uh, math, science, art, and English were tools to achieve those four ends, the, t the vocation and things like that. So I think our school system has kind of got it switched around that you learn math, science, English, art, whatever in school, and then you're supposed to try to apply those to your vocation instead of having those principles prepare you directly for your vocation. I, I just think that there's a lot of problems that we're not teaching people to be functional members of society now and that we're getting too sidetracked by things that aren't important um, like calculus, no offense. Um, I think there needs to be a big change in that and I do agree that our society is resistant to change. I think we're locked in by standardized curriculum and the need for equal education across the board and a lack of resources in every school and every town. I also think we're locked in by people parents and teachers and administrators that are resistant to change. There are, there's a lot of psychology that says that the school system needs to be later um, because kids' brains don't work until later in the day, but we refuse to change um, because that's not how it used to be done or um, there's a lot of businesses that depend on the school system. So I think there needs to be a lot of reform, but I don't think that that will ever happen. So I'm just trying to reconcile as teachers like, how do we choose activities for our classrooms that will prepare our students instead of relying on the school system that ultimately should be changed? So those are my insights, and thanks for listening. You guys have a good week.